Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we will solve the weekly uh, contest uh, problem, uh, which is you can say the minimum operations to maximize the last elements in arrays. Okay. So as per the question, you can see that uh, you are given to uh, zero index integer arrays, which is nums one and nums two, both having a length of n. Okay. Uh, you are allowed to uh, perform a series of operations, possibly one. Okay. Uh, in an operation. Uh, you select an int index i in the range 0 to n minus 1 and uh, swipe uh, and swap the, the values of uh, nums 1 of i and nums 2 of i. Okay. And then uh, your task is to find the minimum number of operations required to satisfy the following conditions. Okay. So the conditions are given here nums 1 uh, of n minus 1. That means the last uh, last element of nums one is equal to the maximum value or uh, among all elements, uh, all elements of nums one like uh, nums uh, one, uh, nums one of n minus one, uh, then index of n minus one. You can see the max equal max of every element of nums one. Okay, then nums two of n minus one is equal to the max value of among uh, all elements of nums two. That is. Uh, Nums two of n minus one uh, is equal to max of nums uh, zero, nums uh, nums two of one, nums two of uh, up to uh, n minus one. Okay, every values uh, maximum number uh, maximum value will be the last value of nums two, and uh, every elements of maximum uh, of nums one, mm, the maximum value will be the nums of n minus one. Okay, if uh, we can solve this, uh, we need to find out the minimum numbers of Operation needed to meet both the conditions, and uh, if uh, it's it impossible to it's impossible to solve the problem, that means uh, we cannot make the last digit last uh, element in the maximum of the array. Then we just need to uh, return a minus one. Okay, let's see the example. Uh, here you have the input nums one equal to one to seven, nums two equal to uh, four five three. As per the question, you can see that the maximum element is 7, which is in the last uh, element, uh, last uh, index. Uh, and uh, okay, so we don't need any changes here. But in nums2, you can see that uh, we, the maximum element is 5. But uh, in the uh, last element, we have 3, which is lesser than 5. So we need some changes to make the uh, last element the maximum of the array. So what can you do? You can swap uh, 7 with C, okay? Uh, so after swapping the 7 with C, we can see that the uh, it will, the nums one will be one two and three and the nums two will be uh, four five and seven which is uh, in this case one two three the three will be the maximum element of uh, nums one so nums one have not ha any problem have not have any problem and in nums two uh, four five seven and the problem is solved okay the, how many operations we have used just one swapping case we have used here and uh, in this case uh, uh, the in the example uh nums one equal to two three four five nine nums two equal to double eight uh, eight eight four 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 so okay so in this case you can see that nine is the maximum value of the whole uh, nums one and this is in the correct position that means the uh, last position so we haven't any problem here and uh, but the nums two the nums two the maximum value is eight but in the last case uh, you can see that this is four which is lesser than eight, so we can uh, we can do some operation to make these things perfect. Okay, so can we uh, uh, swap these things nine with four? Yeah, we can. After doing that, what can we see that uh, it will be two, three, four, five, and four? Okay, you can see that uh, four is not the maximum value. So uh, five is the maximum value at that time after swapping the last element. So okay, and in this case, um, eight, eight, four, four and uh, 9 is there okay you can see that 9 is the uh, maximum value okay so after the swapping first time you can see that uh, this uh, nums one have some problem we need to fix this uh, this element okay because this is the maximum so after swapping this with this one you can see uh, the whole uh, items will be whole nums one will be uh, 2 3 4 4 4 okay uh, there will be every uh, the maximum value will be 4 and uh, and this will be uh, in this will be four, and uh, this is the maximum value of the nums one. And in this case, uh, we'll have also nine, which is the maximum value of nums two. So for this case, we have just used uh, two operations. So uh, this is the minimum version, and uh, the answer will be two. And in this case, we cannot find the answer, so that's why we'll just uh, return uh, minus one. Okay. 
so how can you solve this problem so let's see first of all let's see how many uh add elements are there in a single array okay both element have uh, both arrays have n elements okay so after that uh, what can we do uh, we can have a uh, count one we will check for uh, two times okay let's see count two another one is uh, zero we have in the first time okay so now we'll just use a loop to check everything and we'll check up to n minus one uh, because the last item we don't uh, we want it to swap swap okay uh, and we'll check that if the conditions is okay then we'll not uh, we'll not uh, make any changes in the we'll not have any changes in swapping so we'll just continue these things like uh, you can see that you have given the nums i okay suppose we have given uh, have done nums of n nums now one right nums one of n minus one which is maximum of nums one of i then and uh, the nums two of n minus i the last element of nums two which is the maximum or maximum equal to nums 2 of i then what we'll do we'll just continue we don't need any changes in uh, we don't need to do any kind of operations so we will not count we will not increment any count and then what can you do if this is not true that means any of them is any of the condition is false then we'll go to the next uh is uh, next condition which is every time we'll just we'll just check that uh this case it must be lesser than this case okay because why because we need to check that after swapping uh the thing that uh, other elements should not be like making any kind of uh, mistakes okay making any kind of issues so that's why we'll just make this uh, thing which will be nums of i uh yeah wait for a second mm, we'll see if nums of i is there okay it will be nums of one and n minus one must be uh, greater than equal to nums of two and uh wrong okay and nums of two nums two of n minus one which is greater than equal to nums one of n minus not one it will be i so for this case we will check that thing and if it happens we'll just increase the count one which is the cnt one and what if uh, this both of these uh, conditions is not true we'll have a uh, else condition where if both of them is not true we'll just break it and make the count uh, is equal to infinite okay so let's make the count equal to infinite first okay for this case we'll use uh, int max and we'll just break it we don't need to check any other things okay so let's uh swap something we from this case we will just find out if uh, the count one and uh, if let's check after swapping the last two digits of uh, both element of both arrays okay so nums one of n minus one which is the last element and nums two of n minus one which is the last element and we'll just uh check nums of uh okay uh, we just swapped so that's why we need to increase the count value we just increase the count uh, to value here and we just do the same thing here uh i get the n minus one and i plus plus and here we need to do the same thing uh let's just copy these things and we'll just make changes okay uh okay we don't have many time to make everything okay if the nums one is this and is this then just continue okay perfect and is if nums two is uh greater than this and uh this value is this nums two or last element nums one is greater than the nums one of i okay then increase the count of value two and is it's not happened then just uh make the count two is equal to infinite so after doing this thing uh we need to find that the uh, minimum count okay so 
for this case let uh, answer int equal to answer which will be the minimum of count one and count two will find out the answer if okay if answer is equal to uh, you know what infinite uh, and for the infinite we have saved this as uh, int max uh, we'll just return minus one else it's not happened we will make a else condition else it's not happened we'll just return the answer value and now we'll check uh, that uh, everything is okay or not so let's see okay uh, it's one to one and let's check the condition uh, it's one then two then one okay perfect and uh, let's submit the code we'll see again as our accepted code okay yeah it's accepted so that means our code is successfully running perfectly and uh, let's find out the time complexity and the space complexity okay so for this case for this for loop we just uh, checking we just use the traverse to the uh, not whole uh, n minus one items okay so for this case the time complexity will be almost o of n okay so let's make the time complexity will be o of n okay and for the second thing the same thing will happen so um, because of the it will go up to 0 to n minus 1 though so the time complexity will be o of n and and yeah that the whole time complexity of this question is uh, you know what o of n okay o of n okay let's find out the space complexity you can see we have not used any extra space to solve this question so so the uh, space complexity will be uh, constant uh, will be constant so the space complexity uh, will be o of o of 1 okay i think you guys have understood every part of this code and thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next time